G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts channel. I've uh, been up Sydney today dropping some things off to a friend and while I'm up here I thought I'd do some metal detecting. I've went to, I've gone to this uh, park in one of the uh, western Sydney suburbs. It's quite a drive to get, get here but I'm here and yeah this park's been around since the late 19th century. And yeah, I'm sort of hoping to find some early coins around here. So far I've been detecting for 10 minutes I think and uh, found absolutely nothing, which is very disappointing. Anyhow, first find <laughs> that's noteworthy is this cigar tin. So it's a thin cigar tin. I guess it's probably, I don't know what it, why it's a thin don't know why cigar tins are that thin, but anyway, yep, might as well take it with me. Let's keep going, seeing if we can find any pre-decimals around here. Okay viewers, after not finding anything for quite some time detecting here, finally popped myself a pre-decimal coin, 1927 Commonwealth penny. It's in not too bad shape either. Well, looks a bit copper cancered at the edges though, but anyway, cool. Still pre-decimals to be found around here, so yeah, I might look around here and see what else I can pop up. It actually wasn't deep at all, only about an inch down. Alrighty, let's keep going. Okay viewers, just dug up this big copper disc. Funny thing is it only rang up at 28 on my detector. I wonder what the heck this thing is. I might see I've got the spray bottle with me, I might clean it off and see what if I can make any details on this thing. Okay, gave it a bit of a spray off. Doesn't seem to be any detail on it. It's probably an aluminium disc. Looking at the uh, silvery bit there. Anyway. Oh, just a disc off something. <laughs> okay, let's keep going to see what else we can find. Okay, viewers, just found a nice crusty old doggy tag. Let's try to work out the date on it. Oh, look, very nice. 30th of September 1988. Yeah, wait a minute. Is it a doggy tag? A municip, municip, literally, I can't pronounce it properly. Of Concord. Probably a doggy tag, I guess. Or a luggage tag, I don't know. Still cool find. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, viewers, not been having a lot of luck at this park. Um, I found one penny so far, which is good, but. Yeah, not really finding much else at the moment. I bet, I'd say this park's been hunted out plenty of times. It's an obvious place to go to metal detect. So yeah, anyway, just a just a surface find we've got here. Not very noteworthy, but for the fact I keep finding these things everywhere, I thought I'd show it in the video anyhow. I seem to find these nuts with this chuck piece or whatever it is in, the, in it. I find these everywhere find them yeah just I wonder what their purpose was anyway I'll put it in my caddy and keep going let's see what we can find around the seat here yes look what I've just popped don't know what it is yet but it looks like a thrippy and indeed it's a thrippy 1944 King George VI thrippy it's in beautiful condition too. Alrighty, second pre-decimal for the day. We're to find silver. Anyway, let's keep going. See what else is around here. Okay, viewers, just dug myself a huge bullet shell. One of the uh, biggest ones I've found. It's pretty huge. Alrighty. Let's keep going. Okay viewers, 
just work my way down the park just found this metal hat thingy don't know what it's off Let's see if I can get the dirt off it anyway looks like a cool old relic so I'll take that one with me okay let's keep going viewers look what we have here at the surface I think this might be a silver ring ring up nice and high certainly is a ring and it certainly looks like silver let's see if I can find a hallmark on it 925 silver ring beauty nice find and are they diamonds I hope so if they are that's even better way better anyhow cool let's keep going okay viewers sort of film a bit of nature in action we've got bull ants here by the thousands and this one is carrying what appears to be I guess a baby bull ant Okay, let's keep going. Okay, viewers, found my first bit of spendable cash for the day. A two dollar coin. Yeah, I'd say this park has literally been hunted out to death because I haven't even found one single brown bugger, which is very unusual. I normally would find a brown, few brown buggers here and there, or well, plenty of them. And this is the first spendable coin I found today, so yeah, I'd say this park has been regularly hunted out. I'm very lucky to found what I found today in pre decimals. Anyway, cool. Two dollars richer. <laughs> Let's keep going. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be working my way back to the car because it's getting on night, and yeah, I've got to get back home, back to bloody. Unandera all the way up from from the western Sydney suburbs all right enough yapping let's work my way back to the car okay viewers found my very first brown bugger in this park <laughs> yeah every park you'll find a brown bugger without fail this park's so cleaned out that this is the first one I've found in the whole three hours I've been here Anyhow, let's keep going. Alrighty viewers, thought I'd call it quits now, it's getting dark. So here's a wrap up of this afternoon's finds at, at a large park in the western Sydney suburbs. Okay, so the best finds, here we've got this sterling silver ring with possible real little diamonds that's the highlight find of the day pro decimal finds we found this 1927 commie penny found this 1944 threepence sterling silver it is one brown bugger <laughs> two dollar coin then we found this uh, doggy tag or bag tag or something um, dates 1988 some big metal disc large shotgun shell some kind of hat shaped metal object 
this one I didn't film some some little doodad some part I don't know what it is and I found this uh, thin cigar box okay and also I found this uh, dressing which is not useful now because it's been out where all the bacteria is okay well that's didn't find a lot at the park but I'm glad to have found a couple of nice predeces and this silver ring so yeah the park's been hunted to death I've ascertained every Tom Dick and Harry has been at this park so yeah that's disappointing but anyway glad to have found what I've found all right hope you enjoyed this afternoon hunt stay tuned for my next hunt which should be with dirt fish and dave we'll be going somewhere this coming sunday stay tuned for that this is troy from troy's Digital Arts channel signing out